What? Awkward twilight. Oh, okay. I thought... Twilight. For a second, I thought Skype had died, and I'd have to redo the gen or something. But, um... Train wreck. Yeah. I like... I just like saying my train of thought is derailed, but, uh... Oh, great. <laughs> Earth power killed me. I'm going to end up using all of my revives before Flannery. And it's going to be wonderful. And if that's not enough, uh, after unplugging the Christmas lights that I'd put above my window so that I could... It's like, I'm sure that would stop bothering the four people who watch the these video companions. Uh, and now there's glare from the window because I can't shut the blinds all the way. Or the curtains, since the window to the right of my bed, it's like the blinds and it just fell out, because I take good care of my property. Oh. Oh. There, there, there's Flannery. So I'll just heal. So yeah, while, you want to pull up that story thing? Oh yeah. Yeah, it'll... The, uh, about it'll, Faithful 1P. Okay, let's let's have some fun. The first of his kind, Jonathan Fatality Wendell is the most accomplished professional gamer in history and the breakthrough name in the face of the sport. Seems legit. The world's most oh. the world's most famous gamer spreads interest in gaming wherever he goes. Has become sports worldwide ambassador. Wendell wants gaming to be a true sport and considers himself an e-sports. <laughs> I I don't even know, and no, not summary switch. Uh, he trains for hours a day and analyzes his performance by watching videos of himself in action, all with the goal of being the best in the world. Because that would help. But Fatality is a naturally gifted athlete who competed in many sports, including tennis and golf, before devoted full-time efforts to gaming. Hmm. Naturally gifted is in bold. You know they're talking serious. Hmm. Uh, they're talking serious. Yes. Welcome! Oh, sorry. I felt the need to read out that text. But anyway, continue. Flannery has the best text. Clearly. She, al she also has uh, red leaves in the background for some reason. I guess it matches the hair. Also, that facial expression. I'm gonna uh, demonstrate the hot moves we've owned in this land. He Wonderful. He uses physical training to maintain and hone his natural gift, quick reflexes, and lightning fast hand-eye coordination. Hmm. Jonathan also excelled in school, gaining a 3.4 GPA average in high school. Honestly, I feel like kind of an idiot for saying this, but I don't really know how good that is. It's... A 4.0 is the best. Oh, okay, so that's... Okay, I guess. Anyway. Mediocre. Well... Not it... my standards, anyway. Okay, then. But... I have to show this Hmm. Pretty much Before fun. entering college, from which he withdrew as his gaming career took off. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Fatality <coughs> wants uh, to communicate the picture of a well-rounded, articulate young man and change the image of the typical gamer as a desensitized geek who only spends time in front of a monitor. I hate it when people assume that. I, I shouldn't be interrupting. Go ahead. No one has ever come close to the earnings, titles, and media coverage of Fatality. His record of success speaks for itself. Oh, does it help? Yeah. He currently reigns as the holder of 12 major championships, Holy winning titles God. in five different games that we're not going to list here. A feat never before accomplished. That sounds like victim commentary. Not in a bad way, but that just... I don't know. That just reminds me of him for some reason. Reportedly, I have the voice for it. Yeah. The games in which he holds winning titles are Doom 3, Alien v Predator 2, Unreal Tournament 2003, Take, Take 3, and Painkiller. Yay. I mean... 
Yeah. Uh, well, I, at least it did list the games. It never said what championships they were, but they were major championships. So, like, you know they're being serious. Yeah. Serious guys. We are completely... It's like... Uh... Oh, jeez. I'm trying to think of some sort of good example, but I can't think of one. It was either from Nostalgia Critic or Rap Critic. The closest one I can think of is Rap Critic, when he was talking about... Like... <laughs> um... It was one of his more recent, uh... The Worst Lyrics I've Ever Heard This Month videos. Where it was like... Um... <laughs> it's like... There was this song where people... Or the person was repeatedly saying... I do this and this, and I don't want to talk about it. And it's like he repeated Why are you talking about it. And then he's just repeatedly saying, "It's like the third time around." He's like, "You know what? No one's making you." Or no, wait, that actually had nothing to do with the. It's like I don't know some sort of better example. Like just, anyway. Like, how much longer is the story? Because I don't have that much of the fight left. Voice crack. Voice crack! Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Good god, there's like half a page left. Uh... It, I'll just read random snippets. Okay, then. In April 2009, Jonathan Fatality Wimble set a Guinness World Record for most frags in an hour. This unbelievable feat was accomplished at the CEC Copenhagen Conference where Fatality scored 672 frags in 60 minutes while competing against 5 rotating competitors. Hmm. Wow, that is unbelievably low by today's standards. I suppose so. And so yeah, that was Flannery. That was a quick fight. You didn't spend an hour fighting her Torkoal like I did? No. Kirby made quick work of her. And strange how the heat badge much like the Dynamo badge is half, or well, not half, but partially one color and partially another color. And that's strange, I don't think, I seem to not remember Overheat still being TM50, and earlier I remembered that she gave you Heat Wave, but whatever. Heat Wave. Yeah. Uh, is there a quick way out of here? Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure that would be... Actually, no. I, I think if I would... Oh. Okay. Oh, I have to sneeze. Heatwave has never been a TM. Strange. I seem to remember it being one in Gen 3. Uh, well, I just think that because it was a fire move that was introduced in Gen 3, and it's kind of similar to Overheat, and that it's a... Uh pretty strong fire move that lowers stats, and, uh, I think it, I think they both have 5 PP, I don't really know, though, and so- Gen 3, like, a whole four things could learn it. Hmm. Well, well more like eight, if you consider breeding, but who, who wants to breed? Four Cons million people yell at me. Considering how I got Sableye in this playthrough through breeding, uh, me, I guess, although I didn't- I only got an egg move by mistake because this thing knew Zen Headbutt straight out of the egg, although they probably changed that to a uh, basic move. Uh, I'm not even paying attention to the dialogue. I got the Go Goggles so now I can get the next two members of my team, and um, should I just go Please back- tell me you're using an Armaldo. No. Oh. I, I used an Armaldo not too long ago in Sapphire, but it was, pretty, it was quite good. If I used one in my Auras. Hmm. Or Omega Ruby. Yeah. If only had the best team. It was terrible because it had no resistance to flying. Hmm. Anyway, so I it for prosperity sake. I don't know what happens if I go back to. Well, I mean, I I don't want to challenge the. You just gym. go back to Pedalberg. Oh, Okay. I don't know if she gives me something else, but I want to stick around because the desert's right over here. Because then I can get the next two members, which. If people didn't care about the text LP, which I'd like to think that there's a few people who do, I won't spoil the next two team members. But, as I was saying, yeah, I did have a Armaldo and Sapphire, which was quite good. It's like, it just so happened to have Hidden Power Bug, and that wrecked a lot of things. But now those X's are to wreck a lot of things. Yeah. 
awkward silence. Okay, fine, I'll list my team. Okay, I, I've seen it, but the people watching don't know, so go ahead. Had Brah Segali, the Blaziken. Yeah. Uh, Sable, the Swallow. April, the Grumpig. Get it, because April's in Spring. Oh, I get it now. I didn't get that previously. But. Uh, yeah. Wario, the Wishcash. Because it has a W on the side of its head, or body, that looks like a It's Wario on the front mustache. of its head. Yeah. It just reminds me of the Watson video where I had. where I did a honestly pretty good Wario laugh. But continue. I'm. This is. Okay. Oh god, uh, I'm becoming a terrible person. I can't remember what my fifth team member was. Uh. Yeah. Quick, scramble for the DS. Um. Oh wait, I can't really. Oh god, it's not in here. I can't. I can't really pull up Skype to see what it was. Um. This is problematic. This is becoming an even longer ramble than it was at the end of the Brawly video with Belf. But. Um. It was... Well, there was the Armaldo you mentioned. Yes, the Armaldo. Sweetie Belle the Armaldo. Oh, and Shiftry. Oh, right. I think I've used... Oh, wait, no. I've... Um, I was gonna Sweetie say... Sweetie Belle is the best name for an Armaldo. Clearly. I was gonna say I think I've used all those things, but I, I haven't used the Swallow. I'll probably train one post-game, because I like training stuff. But yeah, Swallow was fun to use. I battled a guy, and it's the hugest staller ever. Hmm. My my real life best friend also had a Swallow in his game. I think he'll probably be joining me as co commentary for some side thing. But anyway, uh, I'm making time go way too much here, so uh, I should probably just go ahead and cut it here. Cut. Okay. So um. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day, etc. Hopefully I won't cut this off while Kif is saying something like I accidentally did to Belf. I love you. <laughs> I love myself too. Okay, bye.